beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adele if you are new and today I'm going to be sharing some of my New Year's resolutions for 2019. I absolutely love this time of year. I'm a huge fan of the new year. I love being productive. I love getting things done and goals and planning. Usually I'm a lot more focused on trying to come up with my New Year's resolutions and like a productivity type of series. I did that last year um, or just productive things in general. However, this year I have not focused as much on that. I've been kind of busy and I've been focusing more on my book and writing. So I'm probably not going to be making too many videos um, about productivity and getting things done for the new year, even though I love it. So today I just wanted to share my new year's resolutions that I have for 2019. I was a little, maybe a little skeptical about uh, filming something like this because goals can be very personal, especially New Year's resolutions, but I've been really excited about it and writing them down on my phone and I finally got around to writing them in my journal and so I have this fancy little list and I'm excited about 2019 and I think it's going to be a great year. So I have separated my resolutions into three parts. I have mind, body, and work. So we're just going to get started. The first goal that I have under mind is to have one self-care day every week. I just recently made a self-care routine video, I will link that up here if you want to go check that out. Basically for 2019, I really want to take more time to myself in quiet and focus on things I like and taking care of myself because things can get busy and sometimes I forget to do that and I don't really do that very often. So I want to make it a point to do this once a week at least. My second goal under mind is to read 10 books. So my whole life I've been a huge reader, I love reading. 10 books isn't that much, but this year is gonna be pretty busy probably. I'm gonna be graduating college and it's just a lot. So I wanna make it a goal to read 10 books and I want them to be interesting and enjoyable for me and good and healthy because it's important to me and I think reading is great and I think everyone should do it. My third and final goal in the mind section is to take my vitamins and medications every day. This can kind of be for mind and body, but I just went ahead and put it with mind. It's pretty self-explanatory and just want to stay on track um, and keep up to date with my vitamins and the medications that I take my mind. So moving on to the body section, my first goal is to eat more fruit. I know it seems kind of weird and specific, um, but mainly I want to diversify and increase my fruit intake. I consider myself a healthy person. I like cooking, I like food, um, I like healthy food. I really like vegetables. I love vegetables. I eat tons of vegetables. I don't eat as much fruit as I should. I love fruit, but I usually only eat like apples or bananas. Um, and so I really want to kind of diversify my fruit selection and eat more of it. Goal number two is to get at least 30 minutes of exercise daily. I already do a lot of walking around campus and I kind of have a gym routine. I try to go two to three times a week. Sometimes I can't make every single one of those times because it gets busy. So I want to at least make sure that I get 30 minutes daily wherever I'm at, either at the gym or at home. And also since I'm graduating in May, um, I'm not going to have my um, campus's gym, which is free for me currently. And so I'm going to have to figure out a different sort of exercise routine that doesn't involve going to the gym or paying for a membership, which I don't want to do. And finally, number three under the body section is to try a new sport. I don't mean like sports, like basketball and stuff. I'm not a sporty person, but the gym that I go to has classes for like yoga or Pilates or all that other P90X is that one. Either way, I really want to get into one of those and just try one, try different things, um, find new exercises that work for me. So that's what I mean when I say try a new sport. Okay, moving on to the last section, which is work. This has a lot of things. This can mean a lot of things. So I take this to mean hobbies and interests and like side projects as well as um, career-wise and work-related things. So my first goal is to finish the first draft of my novel. If you've seen my NaNoWriMo series that I did in November, you'll know that I won NaNoWriMo. I wrote 50,000 words in 30 days for my novel, which was super exciting. But now, over this past month, I've kind of taken a little bit of a break. Not that bad, not too huge, it's not a big deal because um, I did want to take a break to begin with. So in January, I want to get back into writing again. And this year, I just kind of want to amp up my writing in general and really take it to the next level. I really would like to 
put my all into my writing. So my official goal for this is just to finish my first draft this year, but I really think I'll be able to do that within the first couple of months of 2019. So I want to finish the first draft and also start on the rewrite process. Goal number two, buy a new video setup. I love making YouTube videos, but I'm aware that my quality isn't as great as a lot of other people's. I've been saving up for a camera and lighting and a video editor and all this stuff, but those things are expensive, so it's taken me a while. This year, I really would like to be able to have enough for that and purchase a whole new setup and make better videos for you guys. This leads into my third goal under the work section, and that is to upload a new video every week. I do that already, um, but however, in the past, I have maybe like missed a week or two, which is not a big deal and totally understandable, but this year I would really like to push it more and stay consistent and um, like film and plan and edit ahead of time so that I have a video going up every week and I don't miss one. My next goal in the work section is to graduate in May with all A's for my last semester. As I've mentioned before, I am graduating in May. It's scary. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> But um, I want to make this last semester a really great one and graduate with all A's this past or this last semester. Shouldn't be too hard. I've made A's every semester except like two. So I think I'll be okay, but I did want to just make that a solid goal. And I would like to finish my whole undergraduate career um, graduating with like a 3.8 to 4.0 range. I think currently I have like a 3.8 something. And this leads into my final goal of the work section and like my final goal for everything, which is to figure out what I'm doing. So this is super vague on purpose. I know it's not a very specific or like attainable goal, but right now I'm kind of at a loss for what I'm supposed to be doing after college, which I'm sure many of you are going through. So many people have gone through that. And so it's more of a like a reminder to myself that I will be okay and it's okay and wherever I am a year from now, I don't know where that is, but I will be okay. I've always been very organized and structured and I like to have a plan for what I'm doing and this is the first time in my life that I don't have a plan for what I'm doing, um, which is scary and makes me anxious. So I'm, I'm trying to just be like, okay, you don't know what you're doing, which I do still want to try to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing this year because obviously I need to have some sort of plan, but I don't need to have it all figured out and that's okay. So those are my New Year's resolutions for 2019. I hope they inspire you or are similar to yours or if you just enjoyed watching, then awesome. I'm very excited for 2019. I think it will be a great year and I think it'll be a great year for all of you as well and I hope you achieve your goals and get everything you want and it'll be great and good and yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe give it a like and subscribe if you want. I love you all wherever you are and I will see you guys in my next video.